Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with my monthly designer challenge video. The theme this month is inspired by, and I am being inspired by Lois Bach. So a while back, Lois made this landscape version rock and rectangle card where she included a penguin shaped window on the front of the card that lined up with the penguin on the pop-up. For Lois's card, she used a stamped penguin. I decided I wanted to use the penguin from our Winter Animals die set. And since my penguin was smaller, I decided to add another element inside my landscape rock and rectangle card, which would be a string that brings up two additional penguins. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to work on is the window in the window card. Now I am making an A2 landscape card. So that means I started with a piece of cardstock, 11 inches long by four and a quarter tall, and then scored that in the middle for folding. And then to that, I added two pieces of pattern paper, each of those four inches by five and a quarter. I cut that same size paper panel for the front of the card, five and a quarter by four, and now I'm just using a ruler to determine the exact center of that paper panel. So what I want to do is cut a penguin shaped hole into that paper panel. So I'm going to put my penguin die from the winter animals die set right over that center mark that I made. But then I'm also going to fill in the front of the card with some snow banks that I cut using our nature edges die set so that the penguin will be sitting on snow and not floating. You can use any die cutting machine that can accommodate a wafer thin die. And today I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum 6. Okay, so I am going to leave the die in place, but I'm going to pop the paper out of it. And leaving that in place, then I can glue that to the front of my card and then run it back through to cut the penguin down through the cardstock and the piece of paper on the inside of the card. So I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to cut through that many layers all at one time. So that's why I did the front of the card separately. So then I just have to make sure that the card is open when I run it back through my machine so that I'm only cutting that window through the left side of the card. Okay, so now I have my A2 sized card with my penguin shaped hole cut right in the middle of the front. Okay, so for the penguin die, normally the feet cut as a separate piece that you glue behind the penguin, but we don't have a full penguin here. We have a penguin shaped hole. So my way I'm going to do that is by cutting the bottom part of the penguin into the color I want for the feet. And then I'll put the feet die over that edge, but up enough as though it were tucked behind the penguin, if that makes sense. And that die is gonna cut a little beak at the same time, but I'm mainly just interested in the little partial feet that I'm going to cut. So that little trick is going to give me a pair of feet that basically have the scoop of the penguin's body cut out of the top so that they can just line up perfectly with that opening and then my little window has feet. Okay, moving on to the Rockin' Rectangle pop-up die. I've die cut out of white cardstock the two pieces that I need for the mechanism. So working those folds, I go a mountain fold on the first one, then a valley, then a mountain so that my main arm is folded like this. Okay, so then now the other half of the mechanism is this piece. So that's been scored in a few locations. There's a tab at the top, and then the side tabs, they actually fold in and glue down. That is what reinforces the legs of the pop-up so that they're super strong. So I recommend glue for this, but you could also use a really strong tape. My favorite glue is Lineco Neutral pH Adhesive. I have it in my fine tip bottle, and we do sell both of those items on our website. Okay, so if you think of this piece as like a pair of trousers with legs and feet, it's the waistband that's going to sit on the card and then the legs are going to come up and the feet are going through those slots in the other part of the mechanism. So to do that, what you have to do is just fold in half of the foot and it doesn't matter which half, it could be the left half or the right half, just whatever feels most natural. You hook the other notch through the slot, then you push it through and unfold the other half and that will lock it into position. And you can see that the right leg went through the rightmost hole and then the same thing with the left leg. So just fold in half, hook the notch through the slot, get everything through and unfold. And then the feet will be trapped through those slots like this. Okay, so now what we have to do is accordion fold down the piece so that we can take the trousers and make sure they're straight because there's a little wiggle room in them. So just make sure that they're sticking out of the end of the pop-up nice and straight while you lift up one of those feet, that foot that you have access to, just lift it up, 
put some glue underneath it and press it down. So we're just gluing the foot down so that it will stay flat and we can cover it with something else. Okay, then we're going to take this whole section, open it up, and now we have access to the other foot. So again, we can fold it to the other side temporarily to put some glue, press it until that foot is glued down in place. Okay, so the mechanism is assembled. It's ready to go inside the card, but before I do that, I would like to add the decorator panels. So there are dies in the set to cut the larger rectangle that fits in the long panel, and then the smaller rectangle that fits in the short panel, and that will cover up that foot on that short panel. Okay, and then up on the upper foot panel, that's where the rock and rectangle is going to go after I get this installed inside the card. First thing I'm going to install inside the card is going to be the tapered tab. So the glue goes on top of the tapered tab. And then what I'm going to do now is flip that over to the left side of the card and get the end of the tapered tab right into the fold of the card. And then I am just making sure that the arm itself goes out over the penguin shaped hole. So I'm just basically centering that and also using the hole to make sure that I have it in the center vertically but I want the end of the tab right in the fold of the card. So I'm not using the paper as a lineup spot. I'm using the fold of the card. Okay, now I need to fold this down into the closed position so that the trousers are sticking out of the pop-up. And then I have access to put some adhesive on the waistband of the trousers. So right out here in this tab. And then keeping everything nice and flat, I close the card against that exposed adhesive. Okay, I am working on trying to be more slow and patient when I'm using glue. So I'm gonna take a second here, reach in and hold that tab and make sure that it doesn't pop off of there the first time I open the card. So with the rock and rectangle, you have to give it a little help to close until you get the actual upper piece put on it. So once you've got that piece on, then it'll close on its own. But until then, you have to help it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the middle size rectangle in the landscape orientation on top of my upper pop-up and I just centered it. However, I really wish I would have put it further to the left because it just happens to hit my window just perfectly and I'm having to give it a little bit of help. But it's okay, I solved it. Rather than move my upper rectangle more to the left, I just added a couple more decorator pieces to the to the mechanism so they would be weighted down and then I just put a piece of pattern paper on the back of the card and that was all the structure it needed and now it just opens and closes perfectly. Okay and then I also added some snow banks along the bottom. Okay I've assembled all my penguins from the winter animals and with the penguins if you want the wings to lift up you have to clip them at the bottom so that you can lift those wings. I went ahead and added some score tape to the back of the black cardstock when I cut the base of the penguin so that they would just be stickers. And then I just want to make sure that one of his wings is up in the air as I put this through the window into the inside of the card so that I can still put the twine underneath that wing. So I'm just pushing it through the window so that it lines up perfectly. And then you can see as it opens, it'll go up in the air and then it'll close down. Okay, I'm using the smaller snowflake from our Winter Charms die set with a glue dot on the back to trap the twine. And then I'm just going to choose a location over here on the left side somewhere. And I may end up moving that. So I'm pressing it down, but not too hard because I may end up having to move it. And then I'm just going to tuck the other end of the twine under the penguin's wing. Okay, giving this a test, I'm going to close the card and then open it, see what happens. Oops, I have a problem. The twine is low enough that it can catch on that corner. So what that means is I need to move the twine upwards a bit so that it doesn't have that opportunity to catch on the corner. Okay, so I have to kind of figure out where these penguins can go and not impede the rock and rectangle working. So I'm just going to put a penguin over the top of the twine, just tucked onto it with the wings and then just give it a check. And this one feels like it's gonna get hung up in the pop-up and it needs to slide further down the twine. So it's just a matter of kind of checking those before you commit by taking off the liner off the back of the front penguin and then putting a solid black one behind it. And then after I had my middle penguin on, I went ahead and added a third one out on the end of the twine, did the same thing where I just put it over the top, checked it a couple times, and then peeled off the liner and put my solid black penguin behind it. My middle penguin just kind of kept leaning to the back, and so I knew he needed a little more weight, so I just tucked a snowflake underneath his wing. 
Winter Charms also includes a tree with a swirly embossed feature, so I've cut that several times to finish out the front of my card and the inside along with a couple more snowflakes. Okay, so my inspiration card from Lois had a friendship theme. Her said, it's time to chill. Hi, friend. And so I went with my label maker and went with let's hang out on the inside. Seemed to be going well with the twine penguins. And then I went with hello, friend on the front. So the finished card says, hello, friend. Let's hang out. And obviously this would make a great holiday or winter card as well by just changing the greetings. Since I didn't use a lot of pop dots anywhere, this actually folds down real flat and would mail easily in an A2 envelope. So I loved this challenge of being inspired by a great card, in this case Lois's rock and rectangle card with a penguin shaped window, and then just adding kind of my own little twist on it. So I invite you to do the same. Maybe you'll take this technique and put other items on the twine. Check the description box below this YouTube video for a link to the blog post where you will find pictures of this card, supply links, and also links to all of the great cards made by our amazing design team. Thanks for watching. If you click on the website link, you'll go to KarenBurniston.com where you can find out information about purchasing these dies as well as links to all my other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.